This week on The Wire, investors back in the market, rents rise in most cities and help for first home buyers. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story this week, investors back in the market. So lower interest rates are helping to produce growth in the residential investment property market. So lending to investors grew 5.7% in August, which was the most substantial month-on-month -month increase in three years, and that's according to data from the ABS. Much of the demand is coming from first-time property investors, and that's what market watchers are saying. Now we're seeing a lot of new investors coming in, encouraged by the lower interest rates, and they're getting their loans approved far easier than existing investors. And that's coming from Infinite Finance Lending Specialist, Erin Scully. So policy and pricing on investment loans has eased, making the conditions more favorable, and lenders are aggressively competing for customers. The gap between investment, principal and interest, and investment interest only home loan pricing is significant, but it's narrowed in recent times. So the ABS data also showed a 4% monthly increase in the total value of home loans written to owner occupiers on the month prior. So it certainly seems that people are moving quickly and getting back into the market. So next up, rents rise in most cities. So renters in most capital cities have seen a rise in their weekly rents in the past year, and this is new domain data. Okay. Nationally, house and unit markets saw a 20 basis point increase in the gross rental yields year on year. Now, domain research analyst Eliza Owen says most cities' rental markets have not kept pace with the growing population, resulting in low vacancies and putting upward pressures on asking rents. The most notable, noticeable uplifts were recorded in Adelaide and Perth. So Perth's rental market had strengthened due to steady population growth and a drop off in residential construction. That's coming from Owen. Now house rates have increased 5.7% in the past year, yet Perth remains the most affordable capital city in which to rent a house. In the past year, the median weekly rent for Adelaide houses is up 2.7% with a sharp increase for units at 3.3%. Rents fell in Sydney, which was the only capital city with a vacancy rate above 3%. So once again, more good news for investors with their yields rising. And now for our final story for the week, help for first home buyers. So a scheme that will see the federal government support 10,000 first home buyers has been approved. The National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation Amendment Bill that was introduced to the House of Representatives and the Senate in September was finally passed by both houses this week. In a joint statement, Minister for Housing Michael Sucker and Treasurer Josh Frydenberg say the passage means first home buyers will be able to enter the property market sooner. The scheme would see eligible first home buyers who are on low and middle incomes purchase a house with a 5% deposit, uh, well, with a deposit as low as 5%. Now, the federal government says the government recognises that saving a deposit has become a more significant barrier to entering the housing market. It can take 10 years for the average first home buyer to save a 20% deposit. Now, the scheme will support 10,000 first home buyers each financial year. Now, the scheme is open to eligible applicants who have a taxable income up to $125,000 a year, and that's for singles, or $200,000 a year for couples. Builders have welcomed the initiative, and that's coming from Danita Warren, CEO of the Master Builders Association. So once again, great news for young Australians looking to get into a home. So guys, that's pretty much it from me. Now remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe or follow wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series. If you want to submit a question or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. See you guys.